So I'm, I'd like to uh, show you everything you need to do to finish our photography sequence. And this is an example I did uh, last year with another student of mine. And I shot this on an iPhone just using a photo burst. So a lot of students have come up to me and said, oh, I'm not quite sure how to finish this. Um, could you show me again? So I'd like to present you with this film or this quick tutorial on how to do a sequence photography assignment in Pixlr. So let me get started. I've taken a minimum of one, two, three, four, five, six pictures, which I've asked you to do as well. You can go beyond six pictures and uh, it just makes it look like there is more motion in the photo. So I'm gonna close this and get started. Close this. So as you know, I've been instructing you in Pixlr. So you can open up a new tab and just simply type in Pixlr. Pixlr, hit enter, do a Google search, be patient. So I'm gonna click on the online photo editor. And it takes time. So like I mentioned, be patient. This is a web app, so it, it's, it works off of your internet line. So depending how fast the internet is, it will affect the performance. So I'm gonna open images. So I'm assuming you've taken your sequence photo burst. So I'm gonna open image from my computer. And now I'm in Pixlr. And it's going to ask me, what photos do you want to open? And I'm working off of a MacBook. Uh, if you are on your Chromebook, it'll be a slightly different, but same steps. So I've got to go look for my photos that I downloaded. I've got them on my desktop. And I called it Practice Sequence. So there it is. And I'm going to open up my first image. Okay, make sure to just open up one at a time. Click open. I'm going to be patient again. There it goes. First thing I want to do is unlock the layers panel here. I'm going to unlock it by double clicking it. And I'll double click on the name. I'm going to rename it pick one. Just to keep things simple. Now I don't do anything with this file. I'm going to go directly to go file open new image. Okay, so open image. And I do the same steps, except now I'm going to select the next picture. So this is the second picture. So the second picture opens. I can click and drag it over just to move it out of my way. And I will drag this background layer. I can click and drag it into the original photo I brought in earlier. So drag, release. Now what's happened is I've just dragged that new photo into the other document that I opened. So to, to take away any confusion, I'm going to click the X on the, the photo I just brought in. And notice that I'm keeping the file with the multiple layers. And now, just to keep my layers in order, I'm going to name that pick 2. And make sure that this top one, pick 2, is highlighted. The check mark is on. The check mark is to make the layer visible or invincible. So make sure it's on. Then I click on layer mask. There's the icon right there. And you'll notice a little um, thumbnail image come up here, a little white rectangle with a red outline. Note it, make sure that that red outline is on that thumbnail, not here as I click on that little thumbnail of the image. The, thumb, the red outline is there. Make sure that the red outline is there. Should be there by default. I'm ready to select my brush and increase the brush size by going into my brush settings. I'm going to go with a 200 brush. And I can start brushing in in the general area where the next bottle would be. So just kind of brush it in, release, and you'll notice that the mask will reveal whatever is in that second image that we brought in. Now I can zoom in by going control plus. 
And I would use my eraser to refine the edges. So now I can erase around the bottle. And this is where it takes time. And I would make sure to spend time on every layer like this. I'm going to zoom out. It's not bad for just spending a few uh, minutes on this project. So at this point, I would save it. So I would go File, Save. And instead of a JPEG, I want to select PXD. And always be sure to name your file uh, by your first name and then the project name. And always wait. It tells me, working, please wait. OK, so I will put my first name, dash sequence. And now I'm going to save this. And you can save it to your Chromebooks in your Google Drive. I will save it onto my hard drive in under practice sequence. I click save. And I would repeat these steps all the way up until you've got all six. So if I were to open my original file, it's going to look like this. So I'm going to open, open image. If I go to my desktop, I have my completed sequence. which should open. Sometimes it takes a few minutes. Let me try that again. Oh, there it is. I just needed to be patient. There's a good example of being patient. So here's my completed Paxton sequence. And you'll notice here that I have layer zero all the way up to the top six layer. So thank you. I appreciate your time and good luck with your uh, sequence today.